So in my last video, I took a, a couple of uh, 16 gauge wires and I attached ferrules to them so that I could plug them into this board. I thought they would be close to uh, the limit, but there's quite a bit of extra room right there. Um, so here is a 12 American gauge uh, wire right there. There you can see a whole lot bigger. And um, we're gonna see if the uh, ferrules I attach to this wire will also fit in the module there. So now I think these are probably uh, the best clippers I have uh, to uh, cut these and we they are you know stuck together pretty well right there and I'm gonna wiggle them left and right so yeah I may have to uh, do one at a time I believe I normally have to so yeah that worked a lot easier and then uh, we'll go to the other side trying to get the exact same length right there there's some strands um, don't uh, yank on this one you'll mess up the strands so yeah, you may notice there that uh, the wires are not coming all the way out right there. I believe that's because we uh, slipped it back a little bit right there. Now another thing is some uh, these dual wires, they peel apart pretty easy, I think anyways. Um, but uh, these do not. They stick uh, really well. So we're going to actually have to score this before we can strip off the insulation. So I got the uh, utility blade here, being uh, very careful that I uh, keep my finger away from the blade. We are going to score, um, I think, uh, about this far. So um, I could do a little bit better if I wasn't filming. I am looking at the cables now instead of uh, through the uh, screen there. And uh, we are scoring. And I'm scoring the side where the wires are kind of sucked in. And uh, so I'm going to try to get to about uh, the same uh, distance there and score that way right there. And uh, so, yeah, now it should come apart uh, pretty easy. And also, whenever I uh, use a blade there, don't uh, leave it out. First thing you do, as soon as you're done, get it back in there. So now this tool has a 10 right there. So I'm assuming, uh, oh no, um, okay, so yeah, uh, 10, that must be uh, for down here. It can uh, cut a 10 gauge wire, it says, but uh, 10 gauge wire does not uh, fit in there. Pretty sure that's a 10 gauge uh, wire right there. Um, so, um, we'll see if it can, maybe that is for the uh, stripping. We'll check that out. But in any case, there you can see the size difference between uh, the 10 gauge and the 12 gauge right there. And this did not cut uh, with this tool as nicely as I would have liked. That's all I was going to do was show uh, that uh, that size difference. Um, but now we're actually going to uh, try out uh, more with this cable. So, this uh, clip doesn't seem to be uh, good enough right there. Um, so I thought I was going to have to get a, you know, a bolt cutter or something. But uh, after I start, because this, it won't slip into this one really, if I don't already have that other one going. There we go, now it seems to cut in pretty good once I uh, pre-cut it with the other one. Maybe I can also uh, just cut this right away. That is a kind of a, there we go, yeah. That will work right there. So yeah, now we have this uh, longer piece there. And again, this is the first time I've uh, done anything with this uh, 10 uh, gauge wire. So I'm gonna kind of uh, uh, squish this down, try to, to make it more round again. Um, that, uh, it's got wire uh, sticking out, but I think uh, that'll be okay. And um, yeah, for this one, um, yeah, let's not go the rip out all of it. So let's see how it does right there. And uh, yeah, it actually uh, removed that insulation really nice right there. 10, 10 wire gauge. It uh, kind of jammed uh, down there. And um, I think we may need uh, more than that though. So if I have ferrules this size, I'm pretty sure I do. There we go. We'll take off uh, that much right there. I'll clean this up. So uh, I did already start uh, this process a little bit. I got uh, the blade right there and just kind of kept wiggling a little bit. Um, trying not to get any of the strands, but uh, just catch the insulation there enough to uh, remove it. And more importantly, we're gonna do my uh, 16 gauge uh, wire right there. Um, I believe we can keep it at the uh, shortest setting and uh, that's it, uh, pops right off and it's uh, probably doing a cleaner job right there than uh, the 10 gauge. So now my uh, ferrule kit, uh, we got uh, the 12 and the 10 right next to each other there. So gray and uh, yellow for the ferrules, but also look uh, 
there's a gray one for the 20 American wire gauge, uh, much smaller right there. Looks like they're about the same uh, color, but uh, there they are. So uh, this is not as clean of a cut as I would like, but we should be all right. So now um, the uh, insulation is going to end up, it should end up anyways, inside of the uh, plastic there. Only the wire should be able to make it into the tube. Uh, so the insulation will uh, stop us. And again, this is the first time I'm attaching one of these ferrules. Uh, so a lot of times I uh, pre-twist and... Um, so yeah, this one, it's a tight fit getting it on there. But I believe that uh, we got, yeah, you can see there's a fair amount of uh, metal in there. So now this has a ratcheting action. You just squeeze it all the way shut and it opens and uh, we'll put it in there. And again, I'm not sure how well that went all the way through. So I'm gonna push it again when I have a little better lever. But in any case, this is actually a, uh, relatively tight squeeze wasn't terribly tough uh, right there um, but again the insulation was holding it in uh, pretty good so we will do a uh, continuity test on this and um, so I do one side before the other so that uh, we do not there we go I'm gonna push the tongue all the way back there and we have the exposed uh, insulation so we'll do a continuity test to make sure that we have a connection. I'm going to have to clean that up with the uh, razor again. And uh, I'm actually not sure if those are uh, still attached or not. Maybe they came off a little bit. But yeah, just going to kind of uh, roll it a little bit with the uh, razor right there. And uh, there we go. That came off. And uh, now I can slide this off. If I didn't have the ferrule on the other end, I'm going to have to squeeze this with the... Uh, the uh, pliers that's the problem if I didn't have this on then strands could get uh, pulled out so actually I grabbed the pliers but it doesn't look like uh, that's holding on to anything I should have uh, squeezed that end with the uh, pliers before but uh, yeah there we got the uh, wire and we have a lot more wire so as soon as I noticed uh, that blade was floating out right when I ended that uh, last scene I made sure and put the uh, cover on there um, but yeah now we're gonna put that on there and again this is a uh, tight fit onto the insulation but uh, we may not actually have to push it onto uh, the insulation and um, so actually I'm not gonna really push that on it might be on a little bit this one did crack a little bit I think yeah you can see the metal uh, coming through so maybe this one, you just want to expose as much wire as possible and not really slide uh, the the uh, insulation into the opening. So now this isn't that terrible squeeze. I do have to use a lot more force though than I had before. And uh, so yeah, the insulation should not be wedged into there. And uh, so we give this a test. I felt a slight movement, but as long as we can tug hard and it doesn't pop off, we should have a good connection there. And with the uh, multimeter, we're just going to do a uh, simple uh, resistance measurement right there. So we put uh, one probe up to uh, one side and the other to the other. And um, I'm going to try to get it so it's on the on a flat edge on both of them. The flat edges aren't lining up. But there you can see it says like 0.5 ohms of resistance uh, right there. So it's probably even less because we got the connections of the multimeter there. So probably much less than one ohm of resistance, which looks good to me right now. So now we come back to uh, the 12 American wire gauge and um, you know you can give like the uh, wire just a slight twist right there and then turn the ferrule in the same direction but I find that if you at least uh, spin the ferrule in one direction and we had a loose strand right there. As um, soon as I noticed there was a loose strand I uh, didn't try to fight it and uh, there you go. So yeah I think the insulation is all the way to the end right there. I think the insulation stopped us from moving forward and we are going to crimp it. By the way, this crimping tool and these uh, crimps came in the uh, same kit right there. So again, I'm going to give it like a slight uh, pre-twist and you should have clean hands. Uh, maybe like uh, clean it with a, a rag or something as well. Make sure there's no grease on there. Um, so yeah, some of the wires did get strand, but I think uh, uh, pretty much all of them came in. Um, none of them are hanging out here. Uh, which would be a problem. You don't want uh, loose uh, strands. So again, I don't have, you know, you probably want to put the tool at the uh, same angle um, so that uh, they're like facing the same. Um, but in any case, uh, there we got that. So now I can uh, strip uh, this end. These will hold the strands in place right there. So uh, we won't have a bunch of strands popping out. And again, we'll go through this quick, but I'm going to pop uh, the cap there since I'm using one hand on the side that's away from the uh, blade. Uh, quickly uh, score here. And um, once you get a score, um, that really was catching there. I believe I may have drifted off the path, so I'm going to go again, and then uh, we'll come back. Um, once you did script, uh, strip 
sorry, once you score a bit uh, right here, I think you can open it up a bit beyond that, um, but they uh, do catch. So at some point, it's going to rip off a lot more of one color than the other right there. But yeah, there we go. I uh, scored it pretty good. So yeah, if I kept going now, um, yeah, it looks like even if we just scored like a bit, it will make a huge difference. And again, we got this uh, stripping tool. Let's see how it goes if I do a, a full uh, with this in the uh, rear position right there. You can, uh, you know, if you want to go longer than what the tongue goes, slide it. Oh, sorry. Uh, slide it under. Um, this looks like might not even really slide under. And uh, if you have the tongue at the short area, you can just hold it uh, shy um, to get what you want. But we're going to try to do a full ton length right there. And now we got the uh, ferrules there. So I did uh, bump this and uh, one strand kind of came loose it looks like. But uh, let's see if, yeah, I can't really get that in there. It'll uh, bunch them up. So yeah, let's try giving it a little twist right there. And um, yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to guide them a little bit more. Yep, one of them started running loose. There you go. I did not think I'd have this uh, this many problems with this one. Um, let's twist it a whole bunch of times there. I had that and I lost it. I was kind of frustrated there. Um, okay, stance coming loose. Yeah, that didn't work. I can't, uh, I can't fight this one. So I'm going to do a, a tight twist on this one right there. And this is one of the, if not the most, uh, stubborn one right there. So I do have some uh, some loose strands in there, but uh, you know around the insulation, but they're not popping out uh, right now. So we will uh, cramp that, and uh, we have a little bit of wire uh, sticking out right there. So we uh, don't have to go um, when we uh, stripped it. We don't have to put the tongue all the way back. Um, you know, maybe maybe like halfway is all we will need. Um, but there we go. Let's see how well this one goes right there. I was hoping to go a lot quicker on this part. And again, just a little bit is uh, sticking out. That's not a problem either though, I don't think, if just a little bit is sticking out. And we got it uh, crimped. So now the uh, ferrules that I got and that crimping tool, they came in the same kit. So I originally kind of planned to just yank those out uh, and uh, try to reinsert the other wires, but I'm going to unscrew this one. First time I've unscrewed this since I got the uh, unit right there. And uh, there you can see it uh, made a space there. And we can grab the uh, uh, 10 American wire gauge. And it really bumps into plastic, but I think pretty much just barely. Uh, usually like one direction, it's uh, narrower, top and bottom. Uh, it's like a little wider on the side right there. That tends to uh, be common. And um, actually there's uh, two ferrules on this one so I am gonna have to uh, loosen the other one but yeah definitely the uh, 10 American wire gauge is not gonna go in let me make sure I got this right way so the uh, outer one there is positive the uh, plus so yeah going upside down will uh, work and I may have a yeah I think uh, I should uh, spread it out before I do uh, those and uh, plus is on that side I almost put them in the wrong way but uh, Let's just do the uh, red one first. So yeah, that's a uh, tight fit right there. Is it this way? Will it go in? So yeah, I'm actually uh, not so sure we should put ferrules on uh, on the, uh, what is that, 12 gauge right there. Yeah, I think that's a little, little too big. So yeah, probably should just put bare wires when it comes to the 12 gauge in that one. Sorry, it's blurry. So now I think I can uh, strip that. There we go, that will go in right there and uh, I cut it I mean we were able to cut it with the tool if we just have the uh, one wire right there and again um yeah let's go about halfway I think that was uh, probably uh, fine so we don't have the ferrules they make it a little wider um, the ferrules um, even though they didn't appear to fit into uh, the slot there uh, having the uh, two insulations of this uh, larger uh, ferrule may have uh, made it so they wouldn't even be close enough to each other. They may have pushed each other uh, too far away. But yeah, there we go. Um, we can insert the uh, bare strands right there. Be aware though, you got a little bit of it uh, sticking out right there. So you may uh, want to like slide a heat uh, shrink up there. And uh, where's my screwdriver? There you go. Um, but yeah, that's what we're gonna have to do uh, for this unit if we use a 12 uh, gauge wire right there. 
looks like we're actually going to have to insert it in. Let's try one more time with this red one now that uh, we don't have it. Uh, but yeah, there you can see if you had more uh, insulation uh, sticking out up there, it probably uh, would bump against each other. So um, yeah, it's really not quite that fitting in. It, it kind of wants to, but I think I'm going to break something um, before I could uh, jam it in there. So yep, yeah, unfortunately, uh, when it comes to the uh, 12 gauge, gonna have to put the uh, bare wire in. But again, um, you know, um, we could have actually uh, just you know stripped less wire, and we would have been fine uh, right there. We could have got the insulation all the way up. Um, but uh, otherwise, we can't put ferrules in, which uh, would have been nice. Also, you know, a little bit of the metal is coming, showing from the ferrules too as well. So you still kind of got some exposed metal. Anyways, um, but again, that's a 16 gauge right there. Did an earlier video, 12 gauge, uh, uh, much uh, bigger right there. 14 gauge, I'm guessing would uh, fit. Um, that's probably like the uh, maximum you could put a ferrule on and fit it in there. Again, just putting the bare wire in there, uh, just fine. Um, just make sure no strands are like sticking out and whatnot. And um, so that's something generally you do if you're gonna leave it in. Uh, you know permanently you can always just like put bare wire in there not much uh, the ferrules make it easier to remove and reinsert uh, the stranded wire it's gonna get all mangled up and stuff uh, you know even just trying to put it in that first time but definitely you yank it out put it back in you're probably gonna mangle it uh, but yeah this video went on a lot longer than I expected but I hope you enjoyed make sure you check out one of the other videos posted on the screen and check out the links down below they all help out a lot I'll see you in the next video